Hello, my fellow unicorns. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I'm going to read you another fairy tale from the Random House Book of Fairy Tales. Today's story is going to be The Twelve Dancing Princesses. So, let me just pull here. Okay, we have The Twelve Dancing Princesses by the Brothers Grimm. Once there was a king who had twelve daughters, and each was more beautiful than the next. They slept side by side in a great hall that he locked and bolted each night. But every morning, when the king unlocked the door, he saw that the shoes by the sides of their beds had been worn out from dancing. The princesses would not say where they had been, and no one could explain the mystery. At last, the king sent out a proclamation that any man who discovered where the princesses danced could choose one of them for his wife and someday become king. But whoever came forward and failed to learn the answer after three days and three nights was to be put to death. A prince soon presented himself and agreed to take up the challenge. He was brought into a small room next to the hall where the princesses slept. His bed was made up there, and he was to watch them all through the night. Though the prince tried to stay awake, his eyes grew heavy and he could not. In the morning, the princess's shoes had again been worn out from dancing, and the young man had no answer for it. The second and third nights were the same, and on the morning of the last, the young man's head was cut off without mercy. Many others came after him, but they too lost their lives. Now it happened that a poor soldier found himself on the king's road. There he fell in with an old woman who asked him where he was bound. I hardly know myself, he answered, and added in jest, perhaps I should discover where the king's daughters dance each night so I can wed one and become king. That is not so difficult, said the woman. Only, listen closely. You must not drink the wine that will be brought to you in the evening, but must pretend to be asleep. Then she gave him a short cloak, saying, when you wear this, you will be invincible, and then you can slip out after the twelve princesses. The soldier thanked the old woman for her kindness, and went before the king. He was, well, he was as well received as the others. The servants dressed him in royal garments and led him into the small room. All was as the old woman said. When evening came and he was preparing to go to bed, the eldest princess appeared, bringing him a cup of wine. But the soldier had tied a sponge under his chin and let the wine run into it without drinking a single drop. He lay down and was quiet for a time, and then he pretended to snore. The twelve princesses heard him and began to laugh. So he too must lose his life, he said, the eldest said. With no attempt at secrecy, they sprang from their beds, opened cupboards and chests, and brought out their most beautiful dresses. They fastened their shoes and combed their hair, admiring themselves before the glass. Only the youngest princess held back. You may rejoice, she said, 
but I feel very strange. Some misfortune is certainly going to befall us tonight. You silly goose, cried the eldest. Have you forgotten how many men lost their lives? I don't know why I even bothered to give this one a sleeping potion. The fool would never have awakened anyway. When they were all ready, they tiptoed into the room for a last look at the soldier. But his eyes were closed, and he did not stir. Then the eldest went to her bed and knocked on it. At once, it sank into the earth, and the twelve princesses descended into the opening, one after another, with the eldest leading the way. Without a moment's hesitation, the soldier threw on his invisible cloak and went after them following behind the youngest. Halfway along the passageway, his foot caught the hem of her dress. She was frightened and cried out, What was that? Who is holding on to my dress? Don't be so foolish. You must have snagged it on a hook, said the eldest. They kept on going, and when they were quite underground, they stood on a beautiful broad avenue lined with trees. Though it was a dark night, the leaves on the trees were silver and they glittered and shone. I, may, I must take some away with me, the soldier thought. He broke off his twig and a great crash came from the tree. The youngest cried out again. Something is the matter, I tell you. Did you not hear that sound? It is the fanfare of trumpets, because we shall soon release our princess from their enchantment, the eldest said. Next, they came to an avenue where all the leaves on the trees were of gold, and at last into a third where the leaves were shining diamonds. The soldier broke off a twig from each, and it made such a crack each time that the youngest princess was afraid. But the eldest still said it was the fanfare of trumpets. They went on until they came to a great lake. By the shore were twelve little boats and each sat a handsome prince. The princes had been waiting for the twelve princesses, and each took one with him. But the soldier seated himself by the youngest. I don't know why the boat is so much heavier tonight, said her prince. I must row with all my strength to move it. Perhaps it is the weather. It is strangely hot and still outside, the princess said but she was not really certain. Across the lake stood a splendid castle with lights glowing in every window. Drums and trumpets played music for a ball. They rode across and each prince danced with the one he loved and the soldier danced too, silently and unseen. If one of the princesses held a cup of wine, he drank from it so that it was empty when she brought it to her mouth. The youngest was alarmed by this, but the eldest always silenced her in a mocking way. They danced until three o'clock in the morning, when their shoes were danced into holes and they were forced to stop. Then. The princess rode them back again across the lake, but this time the soldier sat with the eldest. On the opposite shore, they said goodbye to their princes and promised to return the following night. When they came to the stairs leading back to their chamber, the soldier ran ahead of them. By the time they came to his room, 
he was lying in bed, snoring loudly. Well, we are quite safe from this one, the oldest princess said. Then they took off their beautiful dresses, placed their worn-out shoes by the sides of their beds, and laid down to sleep. The next morning, the soldier resolved again not to speak of it, so that he could see such marvelous things again. He went with the princesses the second and third nights, and all was the same as the first time. They danced until their shoes were full of holes, and on the last night, the soldier took a wine cup away from the ball. When the time came for him to give his answer, he took the three twigs and the cup with him and went before the king. The twelve princesses stood behind the door, listening to hear what he would say. Where do my daughters go when they dance their shoes to pieces each night, said the king. It is an underground place where there are twelve princess princes waiting, said the soldier. Then he told the king of all he had seen, and when the story was done, he brought out the objects he had taken. At once, the king summoned his daughters and asked them if the soldier had spoken the truth. As they saw that they had been betrayed and would gain nothing by lies, they were forced to confess everything. Then the king asked the soldier which one of them he would choose for a wife. I am no longer young, the soldier answered. I am no longer young, the soldier answered, so I shall take the eldest. The wedding was celebrated that very day, and the kingdom was promised to him after the king's death. And that's it. So, I'm not really sure if there's like some kind of life lesson to be learned from the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and, um, but I think it's a fun story, and, and the king, their, the father of the princesses must have really tried for a son, and I guess was unsuccessful, because <laughs> he has so many daughters, and, um, but I just love the illustrations here. And that soldier owes that woman everything. You have to wonder why she, what was her motive for helping him. She knew about the wine, she knew about everything. And she just kind of handed him the kingdom on a silver platter, so to speak. And, um, so, these stories, the, the real versions of the stories are pretty, um, hardcore, like, if you don't know the answer after three days and three nights, you're gonna die <laughs> or be put to death. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear, like, a, like a whirring sound in the background. It's just my fridge, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I think this is a really interesting story, but I just love that they go through this like magical land um, or, or a magical castle where they have twelve princesses princes under an enchantment so that they can dance all night. Very interesting. <laughs> and I like this drawing because um, it reminds me of Harry Potter. Like this is Hogwarts 
and those are those boats that they they go on <laughs> but um and then I, I love this just reminds you after a long night of partying and you just kind of blow it And surprisingly, even though he's no longer young, I would have half expected the soldier to pick the youngest princess because he kept messing with her so much throughout the night. But good on him for picking the eldest. <laughs> she seems like she doesn't mind being married to him. But anyway, what do you guys think of the story? So, that's that. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to be reading some more stories and doing a whole bunch of videos. Um, I want to do a bunch of like makeup videos, kind of like unboxing new products and reviewing them and testing the products and things like that. And um, I also am going to be doing um, a lot of like art related things, so if that's something that interests you, let me know. And then if you guys have any suggestions, oh wow, can you guys hear a plane? I hear a plane. <laughs> doing ASMR you pick up on the mic just picks up on every little thing and I'm not really sure what you guys are able to hear but I hear a plane outside and it's really loud <laughs> to me anyway but that being said um, if you guys have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see things you'd like me to read or anything else, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching my fellow unicorns. Have a good night.